This is the War Veteran Reads Historical Document Series, narrated by D.S. Pope. The Bill of Rights The first ten amendments to the United States Constitution were ratified on December 15, 1791. The First Amendment Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion, or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or the right of the people peaceably to assemble, and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. The Second Amendment A well-regulated militia, being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. The Third Amendment No soldier shall, in a time of peace, be quartered in any house without the consent of the owner, or in a time of war, but in the manner to be prescribed by law. The Fourth Amendment The rights of the people to be secure in the persons Houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrants shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. The Fifth Amendment No person shall be held to answer for a capital or otherwise infamous crime unless on a presentment or indictment of a grand jury, except in cases arising in the land or naval forces or in the militia, when in actual service in time of war or public danger. Nor shall a person be subject for the same offense to be twice put in jeopardy of life or limb, nor shall be compelled in any criminal case to be witness against himself, nor be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor shall private property be taken for public use without just compensation. The Sixth Amendment In all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy and public trial by an impartial jury of the state and district wherein the crime shall have been committed, which district shall have been previously ascertained by law, and to be informed of the nature and cause of the accusation, to be confronted with the witnesses against him, to have compulsory process for obtaining witnesses in his favor, and to have the assistance of counsel for his defense. The Seventh Amendment. In suits at common law where the value in controversy shall exceed twenty dollars, the right of trial by jury shall be preserved, and no fact tried by a jury shall be otherwise re-examined in any court of the United States than according to the rules of the common law. The Eighth Amendment Excessive bill shall not be required, nor excessive fines imposed, nor cruel and unusual punishments inflicted. The Ninth Amendment The enumeration in the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage others retained by the people. The Tenth Amendment The power is not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states respectively, or to the people.